Welcome back to the Hydro Haven channel, where we're passionate about helping you grow more food with less work. Today we're diving deep into one of nature's most amazing soil builders, the mighty fava bean. If you're dealing with depleted, compacted, or dead soil, this guide will walk you through exactly how to transform it into rich, fertile growing medium, all with the help of this remarkable plant. Dead soil isn't just dirt that won't grow things, it's a complex problem facing many gardeners. You might be dealing with soil that's been stripped of nutrients through over-farming, clay that's compacted and airless, or sandy soil that can't retain water or nutrients. The symptoms are clear stunted plants, poor yields, increased pest problems, and gardens that require excessive fertilizer just to produce anything at all. But here's the good news. Nature has provided us with an elegant solution that doesn't require expensive soil amendments or chemicals. Enter the humble fava bean, your soil's new best friend. Fava beans, also known as broad beans, aren't just another legume. They're soil transformation machines that work on multiple levels to revitalize dead soil. Unlike most plants that deplete nitrogen from soil, favas actually add it. Through a symbiotic relationship with rhizobia bacteria in their roots, they pull nitrogen from the air and convert it into a form plants can use. It's like getting free fertilizer while you grow. Fava beans develop robust roots that can penetrate compacted soil up to three feet deep, creating channels for water, air, and beneficial organisms to move through your soil long after the plants are gone. These plants grow quickly, and produce large amounts of organic matter both above and below ground, which becomes valuable compost material. Unlike many cover crops, favas thrive in cool weather, making them perfect for keeping soil protected and active during otherwise dormant winter months. While rebuilding your soil, favas also produce a delicious harvest of protein-rich beans if you choose to let them mature. When to plant fava beans for soil building. Timing is everything when using favas as soil builders. The ideal planting schedule depends on your specific goals. Fall planting is recommended. Sow seeds six to eight weeks before your first expected frost. This gives plants time to establish before winter, allowing their roots to develop and begin their soil building work. In milder climates, they'll continue growing slowly all winter, then explode with growth in early spring. Early spring planting. If you missed the fall window, plant as soon as soil can be worked in spring. You'll still get benefits, though the plants may not grow as large before it's time to cut them down for summer crops. Year-round option. In coastal or Mediterranean climates where temperatures rarely drop below 15 degrees Fahrenheit or exceed 75 degrees, you can plant favas almost any time of year. They're especially valuable in these regions as summer cover crops in areas that get morning fog or afternoon shade. Step-by-step -step guide to growing fava beans for soil regeneration. Step 1. Prepare your planting area. There's no need for extensive soil preparation. After all, we're using favas to improve poor soil. Simply clear the area of existing plants and large debris. Loosen the top few inches of soil if it's severely compacted. Step 2. Inoculate your seeds. While fava beans will grow without inoculation, you'll maximize their nitrogen-fixing superpowers by inoculating the seeds with rhizobia bacteria before planting. Purchase a legume inoculant specifically for fava beans or broad beans, sometimes labeled for peas and beans. Shortly before planting, moisten your seeds slightly. Sprinkle the powdered inoculant over the seeds and mix until coated. Plant immediately after inoculation. Step 3. Planting Technique. Fava beans need space to thrive. Plant seeds approximately 1 inch deep, space seeds about 6 inches apart. If planting in rows, keep rows 12 to 18 inches apart to allow for good air circulation. Water thoroughly after planting. Step 4. Early Care and Support. Fava beans grow tall and can become top-heavy once flowering begins. Once seedlings reach about 6 inches tall, apply a 2 to 3 inch layer of mulch around but not touching the stems. Step 5. Ongoing Maintenance. The beauty of favas is their minimal care requirements. Water only during extended dry periods, about 1 inch per week if there's no rain. 
No fertilization needed. Remember, they're creating their own nitrogen. Monitor for aphids, which can cluster on the growing tips but usually don't require intervention in a soil building crop. The critical decision, when and how to terminate your fava bean cover crop. This is where many gardeners make a crucial mistake. The timing of when you cut down your fava beans dramatically affects how much nitrogen they contribute to your soil. For maximum nitrogen contribution, cut plants down when they're flowering but before they form pods. This is the sweet spot where the plants have fixed the maximum amount of nitrogen but haven't yet redirected it to seed production. For a balanced approach, soil building plus some harvest. Let some plants produce young pods for harvest. They're delicious when young, while cutting others down at flowering stage. This gives you a taste of favas while still providing significant soil benefits. If you found this guide helpful, please subscribe to the Hydrohaven channel and share this video with fellow gardeners struggling with poor soil. Drop a comment below with your own experiences using cover crops and let us know what other soil building techniques you'd like us to cover in future videos. Until next time, happy growing!